Hey, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon so you can become part of our family. And if you already didn't know, I'm a homeschool mom to three little kiddos, ages eight and under. <laughs> 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 Hello, so this week we are taking a field trip to Redondo Beach at the Wonder of Dinosaurs located in the mall and it is an amazing museum filled with many animatronic dinosaurs that roar and move and tons of inflatables. It's a double story museum. The first layer or first story is full of animatronics and the museum part and the second story is right here where they have tons of inflatables where the kiddos can jump and play, learn, interact and just have fun. And if you're worried about big crowds or your kids interacting with too many people during this present time, I can tell you that we went Friday morning when they opened and there was hardly anybody. And people didn't start kind of, you know, trotting in until probably around noontime where we had a couple of kids, maybe four or five kids that came. But the crowds really didn't come till after 4.30 on a Friday, which is when school normally ends. And then that's when we decided to leave. We were tired. We had a huge day. We even grabbed some lunch. So it was a fun-filled day. It was safe. It was clean. And our kids just had a blast. So for the point of this field trip, we actually uh, kind of circle back to a dinosaur unit that we have at home where we read tons of books and do lots of activities every couple months because my kids, and especially my daughter now, is growing to become dino obsessed. They love anything dino, Jurassic Park, anything to do with it. So we came here to kind of experience the fun, we'll go through the museum, read about all the dinosaurs, let my kids imagine that they were in surrounded by the world of dinosaurs and they just absolutely loved it. So when we tr we have these um, homeschool days, which we like to call Party Fridays, where we like to go and do something fun every Friday, whether it's hiking, going to a museum, doing something that we normally wouldn't do during the week when we're doing our main homeschooling. And this was a great activity for my kids to kind of bond, learn, and have fun, and then of course, fall asleep at the end of the night. So if you're looking for a fun educational activity with the kiddos to do on the weekend or any other time, I definitely rec this recommend this place, especially if you live in the Los Angeles area or even that we've come here when we used to uh, live in San Diego and it's totally worth the drive. It's similar to that uh, event that travels called Jurassic Quest, only it's actually cheaper because I've gone to that and I've studied the admission to come here and a lot of the rides which are featured in this video are actually free. So there are a few rides that do cost money or some tickets and normally the rides are only one ticket each and the tickets only I believe like a dollar, I believe maybe a little bit more, I don't quite remember. But they're very affordable and it's way cheaper and way more affordable than the Jurassic Quest in my opinion. So before this video and field trip comes to an end, I want to take the time to say thank you for stopping by at our page. I hope to see you in the next video and of course, I hope you have a fantastic week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.
dinosaur was in a movie? Yeah, I remember. It was like dinosaur school? Yeah, I think I watched that with you. Yeah. It's bigger than you thought, right? Oh, I thought he'd be crying. He's like, I'm ready to go. We have spent almost all day here, but it's still the coolest place. Just remember the bottom floor is all about the colors, which is good. I love it, and personally, everything here is good. Statue! This is totally a young, we have a lot of young T-Rex statues, and they're cool.